Hello and welcome back into the hunt area and today we're back with some more Dragon Ball Ultimate Tenkaichi. So the last episode, Freezer blew up planet Namek with Goku on it. However, Goku isn't dead. He's currently in space. Freezer is now landing there, so let's jump into the fight. The identity of the massive key that emerged from the spaceship, the Freezer, who survived in a cyborg body, and his father, King Cold. Vegeta and the others were supposed, were supposed were sure this would be the end of Earth, but the youth appeared suddenly and transformed into a Super Saiyan. He destroyed Freezer and his father instantly. Then invited the warriors to go and greet Goku. Hours later, Goku's spaceship landed at the exact time the youth had predicted. The youth spoke to Goku alone. After some thought, he asked Goku to turn into a Super Saiyan. So we've got to be fighting troops by the looks of it. Which was the battle. I'm surprised that we didn't get to defeat Freezer. That would have been a really good fight to Goku. Can you become a Super Saiyan right now? I'd like to see. Okay. A Super Saiyan. What amazing power! So so that's how he beat Frieza. up. <laughs> How's this? I can become one too. Excuse me. I'm not sure why, but the voice recording is uh, very off. I'm hoping this is just a recording thing. If it is the case that the sound is off, I'll try to fix it, but it will definitely be fixed in the next episode if not. My battery level low or something. So my apologies there. I made a rookie error and didn't charge my battery. Back. Changed my battery before recording. Fingers crossed that don't do that anymore. <laughs> Goku uses the dreaded low battery attack. I see. So it's true. Actually, you're even stronger than I heard. Well, you obviously weren't seriously fighting. I'll tell you everything. Excuse me. I hope the future changes, Trunks. Well, now that I've seen your strength, Goku, I'm starting to feel hopeful. Will we meet again? Yes, I'll come to help you three years from now. Stay alive. at that point I don't know if it's gonna go for a quick scene there so yep 
Relieved after seeing Goku was even stronger when he hoped the youth revealed to him the entire truth. The youth says that he came 20 years from the future through a time machine. His name was Trunks. Goku is shocked to hear that he is the son of Bulma and Vegeta. Trunks warns him that in three years, two terrifyingly powerful androids would appear. Created by the former Red Ribbon Army scientist Dr. Jira. Goku learns that in 20 years, Trunks is the only fighter remaining. Gohan, who taught him how to fight, died four years previously, and Goku himself had died from a viral heart disease. Although somewhat stunned, seeing Goku upset over not being able to fight, Trunks realises what a reliable ally he will become. Trunks handed to Goku special heart medicine from the future. He will return to the, to the future, promising to come back and help him in three years. To change the future, the warriors swear to assemble again in three years and fly off to their respective training grounds. Three years of training quickly passed. Faded day came. Who are Android 19 and Android 20? Let's find out. Because I can tell you one thing, then pictures definitely were Android 19 and 120. Be honest. Do you really think you can beat him? I haven't even seen the guy. How should I know? I'll tell you after I try. Piccolo, I'm begging you. Even if things look bad for you, don't push yourself. Dad, look! It's Quillen! Quillen! go on! He's a teen now. That's why he's grown. Playing Goku and Krillin. Can we see if we no? Just wanted to see whether I could uh and then Shemron. Yeah. I don't want to fight anyone but the main boss. Main boss? Yeah, main fight. You guys know what I mean. Southwest of South City. That's it. It's that island. That's a pretty big island. It even has a decent sized town on it. I can feel two large powers over there. That's probably Yamcha. Good old Yamcha. Let's go. Good and joined up with Yamcha and the others. He's shocked to learn that the baby in Bulma's arms is Vegeta's. Yet Jirobi also came to deliver some sensu beans. However, Tien noticed that the time trumps from the future, so the androids would appear had already passed. There was no sense of their kid. Just as they thought, it seemed strange. Yet Jirobi's sky car was suddenly attacked. 
and something as he left and suddenly exploded. exploded. As the smoke receded, the androids finally appeared and headed straight down into town. But the keys could not be felt at all. Yeah, and that's Android 19 and Android 20. Android 20 is actually Dr. Jero. A human with an extremely high energy level is approaching. There are a couple of killer androids on the loose. Have you seen them? We're right here. Well, that's nice of you to turn out. <laughs> At least you found someone actually booking uh, the Yamcha. Oh my god, Dr. Jiro is terrible. I was remembering him in an every game and he's just like, if you play this Dr. Jiro, you're never gonna win. That's where he's shown in, huh? Who you call him? We're near enough that new fan fist. We'll get one in before we, uh, before we finish the fight. You let me down, Yamcha. So you're the Androids. I've been waiting for you. Strange. How did you know we were Androids? I'm not telling. I'm afraid you're gonna have to force it out of me. As you wish. We'll risk too many lives fighting here. Let's take this somewhere deserted. Follow me. I'll pound both of you. You cannot defeat us. Choose your gravesite, Goku. Choose your gravesite, indeed. One of the same coming out of this battle, and you know that as much as me. Right, I'm gonna leave the episode here. Hopefully, the sound isn't bad and isn't off. If it is, then I will apologise. Like I said, I'm still sort of figuring out the whole software. If you have liked this uh, video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And until next time, I've been Inspire Hunter. And adios. <laughs>